My name is Richard Boyer. We are Team Pythia from Greece and Nashville, Tennessee. George Bertos, who is leading Team Pythia, and I decided to collaborate on a project where we would combine the knowledge of um, human physiology and medicine that I'm studying with George's expertise in biomedical engineering and biotechnology. We started working in mobile health and in um, closed loop control of medication delivery, iPhone, iOS. We have a smart healthcare platform at Vanderbilt that we've been working on for over five years now that is a modular and peripheral centric um, design where we actually have a core module that integrates into the healthcare EMR systems. There are a few technologies that we're using that um, one is actually a com combination of human electrocardiographic data with a method that's been used for, for a few years in experimental labs, which is impedance tomography. So using impedance, which is electrical, uh, basically analysis of an electrical signal as it's sent through the body, similar to an EKG that's that's measuring the heart's uh, native signal, we're actually able to model similar to a CT scan, basically. We have a design that's very clinician-centric. We are a team of clinicians, a few engineers, and a few combinations of engineers and clinicians, and I think that gives us a unique insight into how physicians will eventually interact with these devices. Actually, I have a very personal story um, that is relevant to this device. When we were testing, we actually put it on the professor of biomedical engineering that's on our Franz, who's on our, brought to our team, and um, he was at home, and we had we were practicing looking at the wireless transmission of EKG data. Our cardiothoracic anesthesiologist was actually watching that data stream through, and as she was watching, he actually, Franz actually um, started having a um, heart block, and he was rushed into the emergency room, and um, through this, they actually were able to catch that he was, that Franz was having. Um, a heart attack, and he had to, at the end of the night he had a triple bypass surgery. He actually probably would have um, died if we actually hadn't caught it in time. I think that really shows the impact of mobile health care and how these can make a huge difference.